Gentlemen, how are we? In this video, we are going to be taking a closer look at what is Dr. Squatch's new limited edition, the Spidey Suds. So let's get into our video. begin our review by taking a closer look at our box man first things first I think this is freaking cool like this is really really something else I love the comic book style and yeah, the red and blue obviously uh, symbolizing spider-man that's his colors at least his spider-man suit as a spider-man fan myself grew up on the comics the show the movies all that good stuff this is pretty darn cool even got the amazing spider-man with that classic uh, old-school text yeah, that's cool. That's dope. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, this is probably one of my favorite artworks. And hopping over to our soapy here, you're gonna get a continuation on the red and blue theme here. Looks like a blue soap with red swirls. I don't know where the blue's coming from, but I'm assuming the red might be coming from the red spiderling powder. Now I'm just guessing though. They don't necessarily make it clear, so I don't know necessarily where these colors are coming from. Now this soap, it will come at five ounces, just like most of their soaps, or if all their soaps. All the soaps come in at five ounces, uh, and you notice a couple of spots in there, that is gonna be your blue poppy seeds. This is in fact going to be an exfoliating bar. It's got an exfoliator. It says medium grit. I would even kind of put that closer to low grit, but Medium grid, fair enough, whatever. And the end, soap looks really cool. All right, real quickly, let's go ahead and post the ingredients on the screen. So we go ahead and check that out for our little Spidey. Um, as you can tell, we don't have a big paragraph of ingredients, but we do have ingredients that we don't typically see in soaps. And this is always one of the cool aspects of Dr. Squash's limited editions. Um, as always, we have a trifecta. We have the pol uh, the polyp, the olive palm and coconut oils. You typically get uh, our shea butter. We also have some natural fragrance and we all, but Interesting enough, we don't have any essential oils found in our soap. So our scent is purely coming from a natural fragrance and whatever that means, right? Now, speaking of our unique ingredients, we have the red spiderling, properly named, right? Now, I don't know why they call it spiderling. Um, it has really nothing to do with spiders or anything like that. So apparently the plant is loaded with antioxidants as well. Then we have the vegan silk extract and that means they just basically taking the fibers from certain plants or fruits, right? Like bananas or pineapples, things like that. And of course we have our blue poppy seeds, which is basically acting as our exfoliator. All right guys, let's go ahead and talk about how the Spidey smells. Um, get right to it. The Spidey smells okay. This is probably one of the weaker limited editions I've smelled in a while. It's okay. It's another one of these berry uh, Dr. Squash essence soaps. Uh, man, Dr. Squash really likes the berry soaps. Right, I, I find a lot of their limited editions features some type of berry combined with the Dr. Squash essence. I call it their fragrance, whatever that's unique to them. A lot of their soaps have that. And I find this one doesn't really do anything different. It smells very ordinary, very traditional for them. It doesn't really push the envelope in any way. Um, in fact, really what vibes I get is like soft, smoky blueberry scent here, and I'm not feeling it. Um, now, I will say it's okay. The reason why I say it's okay is because it, it came around as I used, I guess I got used to it, right? Uh, initially, I was like, this sucks. But as time went on, I was like, okay, it's not bad. It's not terrible, but it's not good. It's not great. I don't, I don't I'll give you okay. And that's about as far as I'm gonna go with it. Um, it's mediocre, you know, especially considering I just reviewed the werewolf wash like a couple weeks ago. And I thought that one was really, really good. And then to come to this, the Spidey, just obvious decline, right? It kills me. I love you, Spidey, but sorry, man, you're really not smelling too hot here.
gentlemen, let's start landing the plane here, start wrapping up our video, and uh, do some final thoughts and uh, some recommendations here. Uh, personally, I'm a little disappointed by this, so I'm a big Spider-Man fan, so I was really cheering for this one, wanted to be really, really good, and that wasn't what I got. I was, in fact, if anything, kind of didn't like it. Now, the, I mean, the soap itself, the ingredients, the performance, all that was fine. I really don't have typically have an issue with Squatch on that end. Now, I do have a couple questions about like the color roots and the fragrance. I do have some questions there, some potential yellow flags in that case. But other than that, it's fine, looks cool. In terms of recommendations, I think this is a pass. Unless you really like Spider-Man and you just wanna have an excuse to get some Spidey soap, <laughs> you know, um, go for it, right? I'm not gonna tell you what to do with your money, but, uh, but if you're like, I don't know, if you're kinda on a budget and you're just, you're sitting there thinking, man, I don't want to pass up on Spidey, you're going to be fine. It's really nothing. You're not missing a whole lot here, and save your money. There's plenty of other good ones. I uh, just think this one kind of falls short compared to the other limited editions, so I think this is all going to be a pass for me. Regardless of if I see one of my videos from the past, the future, either way, man, till next time, you guys take care, be safe, be natural, and peace.